Amelia, where are we? Toronto, Canada! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, so we actually flew in today to Toronto, Canada! So we're Get super ready. excited. We are in the nicest hotel. We are in the Shangri-La, which is pretty fabulous, and it's been a long day. So we are just so happy to be here. We're gonna do some amazing things. Just in full transparency, and try and give you an idea of what the whole day has been like. We're gonna give you a 20 second rundown on what happened until we got to this point of being happy in Toronto. So here we go. Where to begin? Let's see. Get we involved. were delayed getting leaving our house. We were stuck in traffic getting to the airport. It took extra time to get through security. Uh, let's see, our flight was delayed. Uh, our food was messed up at the restaurant in the airport. New country, new us. We're gonna turn the corner and have the best day. So I think it's gonna be pretty good. And check out this room, it's gorgeous. So we booked with the fine hotel and resort rate through Amex that we love. And we're only here one night before we go to another hotel, but they upgraded us to a slightly larger room. And I think you can see it's pretty gorgeous. This is our foyer. <laughs> First thing that I always notice, TV in the mirror. What? Always what cool. It? We've had that at a couple of hotels and I love that. Huge bathtub that's kind of going to be wasted on us this trip. Beautiful shower. Oh, yeah. And separate yeah, bathroom. Water closet. <laughs> Water closet, if you will. We have two crazy kids, a beautiful view, and two queen beds. And kids are going crazy. They gave us something really nice for the kids. Come take a look. Yeah, let me get each of us a cookie, two frostings, yellow and red, so, and some candies to decorate the cookie with. Wow. It's pretty cool, Thank right? Pretty cool. Nice way to welcome you to a nice hotel. Now back in my gym. combination of promotions we have a good amount of budget to spend on this fancy breakfast we've gotten but the... i'm not going to use my tooth fairy money no okay you shouldn't have to use your tooth fairy money but because we used amex fine hotel and resorts we get a hundred dollar u.s equivalent credit which here is like 120 canadian and then uh i, I think I what else we got another we got a hundred dollar credit a hundred dollar credit that's through so just the that. mx final hotel and just for the whole hotel okay so there you go so 220 to spend on breakfast guys let's do it yeah. Yeah. what do you think everything is really really good and um all the juices are fresh squeezed. This is fresh squeezed cranberry juice, which I don't think I've ever had in my life. So we're headed to the center island of the Toronto Park Islands. Hi. Hi, what do you want? A boat. Where are we going? Oh, look at that water taxi go by! So that whole boat ride took like 10 minutes. We just walked up, the ferry was ready, and here we are. A little bit pricey to get over, like, um, well, it was 50 Canadian, so probably about $35. That's actually not bad. But um, now we're here. <laughs> we don't really know what's here. We know that there's like some playgrounds and some outdoor stuff, but I guess we're gonna find out. Totally. Is 
out here? Yeah. They were like crab pitcher chairs. They're pitchers in the end. And they think they. I got chipping because we have to go. Okay. There seems to be this little cute like antique amusement park on the island, so it's pretty amazing. Awesome. We got tickets. Hey. Let's explore. Cool. What can you see? Everything. Everything. This is pretty cool, right? I can't see Amelia. You can't see Amelia or you can? I can. She's right in front of us, right over there with Daddy. Say hi. <laughs> is this cool? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Let's see what we can see. And we're right over higher. Well, let's see. I see goats. Do you see the goats? Would you say that for families coming to visit Toronto, it's a great idea for them to come to this park area on this island? Yes. This is absolutely worth it? Yes. I agree. Especially this sky ride. Especially the sky ride? Uh -huh. Totally. Is that Giddy Tower? Is that the CN Tower? That's the CN Tower. We're going to go up to the top to eat dinner tonight. Tonight? I know. I'm so I can't excited. wait. We're back. Yay! Good times! Wasn't that great? <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Seeing animals up there yeah. and like the skyline. Awesome. Up all the way? Oh, up the city. Oh yeah, look! What did he eat in that fancy big tower? Also hardcore, inflatable booster seat for the win. We already blew it up, so we're ready for the Uber. Kind of opens up a whole world to you. Well, this was a great hotel, Alpha. It's time to go, leave, unpack for the since we're going to another hotel. Welcome to the Park Hyatt. First of all, it has this great entryway area. I love the fact that in this one bedroom suite, they have a place where you can like throw down your keys and your sunglasses as you're moving on with your day. We don't wear shoes in rooms, so that's always awesome to have a place to put them. They have an espresso machine, which is complimentary, as well as bottles of water. And then of course, a pretty nice mini bar area as well with everything overpriced you could ever want. <laughs> a nice living room area, usually you'd have a lot of space, but the kids have chosen that they don't want to share a bed on this trip. So instead, we have a couch that one of our kids will be sleeping on. And they put this cot in here, which should be nice and comfortable for them. And best part, we have separation as well. So this isn't our hotel room. This is Mike and I's room. Let's see it. Dramatic entrance. <laughs> so this is our room. It has, of course, the king size bed, big TV. This little built-in over here is actually very practical. So it gives you luggage storage. Also somewhere where you can actually open your bag up as you're on packing. I am way too much of a germaphobe to keep my bag on the floor, so that's always good. Lots of closet space. Bathroom, steamer, slippers, because again, we don't wear shoes in rooms because disgusting. <laughs> so that's always nice. And then the bathroom is pretty awesome. Come in here. The bathroom has a really huge modern shower. I'm um, pretty sure we could fit our whole family in there. <laughs> Not that I plan to. And then we have these double sinks, which works well for us. Everything seems very clean and very modern. I actually have to say I like the styling of this hotel a little bit better than the Shangri-La. 
That hotel has a better vibe in the lobby and throughout, but the actual room here just seems fresher, more modern, and more in line with my personal style, which is more of that um, minimalistic Japanese kind of look, and I think this hotel has that going on. So we're gonna have a good time here. I'm excited to be here. The restaurant we're going to is super fancy, so we need to go from this to this. To this. <laughs> So now we're going to go to the CN Tower, the famous CN Tower, and eat at the revolving restaurant at the top if we're not too late. So let's go. Come in close. Let's go. And they get to clean themselves outside. Yeah. One. You guys excited? <laughs> we're still not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. It's already high. <laughs> 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 it's going to take a while. No, better on. Yeah. First impression? This is amazing. We always buy a new toy when we go to a restaurant that's really fancy because we figure it's part of the investment, you know? So far, I Oh, you got the new um, coloring book. Where's the beef? Canada. Canada's known for some of the best beef, and this is delicious. Enjoying it with a nice glass of local wine from the Niagara Lake region, and it's amazing. And the kids got a three course meal. How cute is that? Seems to be like that. So this whole restaurant rotates, which is so sad in a way, because even though it's beautiful, Wyatt lost one of his precious cars because it got caught under the rotator. And now we don't know where it is. So one of the specialties of wine in Canada is ice wine, which is a sweet wine that is grown sweeter because the sugars have concentrated in the grape after the first freeze of the season, before they harvest and process the grapes. We might hear a little bit more about this in, spoiler alert, one of our tours of Niagara will take us by one of the wineries in the region, uh, but we're enjoying this here now as part of dessert. Now we're headed down to the observation level. We just had an incredible meal. We are so full. Amelia had all the ice cream in the whole world, but now we're going to check out the observation floor. Yeah. Do you guys think you could have done all the stairs down? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a nice video, Mike. <laughs> Can you guys believe you were all the way up there? Yeah. That's silly. Is that a good place to have dinner? It's so cool. I